Mori Kuroma says he will cure what ails you from the van he parks along a busy roadside in Guinea's capital, Conakry. Kuroma offers traditional medicines to treat common ailments, even if the ailment is fever, one of the first symptoms of the Ebola virus. For those who are complaining of having fever and they come to my place, what we normally give them is this one and that one over there in the bottle. Guinea was the first country in West Africa in which Ebola broke out and the last country in the region where people are still getting the virus. The virus killed more than 11,300 people, mostly in Guinea and in nearby Sierra Leone and Liberia. While its neighbors have managed to get rid of the disease, two new Ebola cases were reported last week in Guinea. After the virus broke out in 2013, the national coordinator of Guinea's fight against Ebola, Dr. Sakoba Keita, said the government realized if it was going to beat the disease, it needed to get traditional healers on board. More than 10 of them had already died because of their treating of Ebola cases. Mainstream science doesn't support the idea that traditional healers can treat Ebola. So we met with the traditional healers, and we trained around 1,500 of them in measures of prevention and detection in Ebola cases. Mamadi Nabe is president of Guinea's Union of Traditional Healers. He says before the government intervened, most traditional doctors did not have the equipment to protect them from a disease that is transmitted through infected bodily fluids. Before, we were sensitized. We didn't have the hygiene kits. We didn't have infrared thermometers. We didn't have gloves. Thanks to the sensitization efforts, this Ebola treatment center in Conakry is nearly empty. But as the recent cases show, the country still has much to do to defeat the disease entirely. Chris Stein for VOA News, Conakry, Guinea.